I'm just using the square so I get an edge to work from. You see here I'm getting a measurement of around about 20, one, two, three and a half, about, 20, about 23 and a half mil. I'm not too fussed if this is just off a little bit. We'll call it 24 mil and half of 24 is 12. So we, we've got to come in 12 mil from, you know, you know, from the edge. You just do it with the ruler. Um, I could line this line along the edge that we want to put the mark on. Come in 12 mil. If you really want to get technical, you come in exactly halfway, which would be about there. And we just put a pencil line in there. We've got our, our center point. Now as you can see I've been using a pencil just to put these lines in and the reason I'm doing that is because this is not really critical and it's easy enough for me to use a pencil and I've kept the pencil quite sharp so I can get my, my distance down, draw the line and I get my you know my measurement from one side and get halfway point or very close to it. If I wanted to be more accurate, could have put it in there, you know, on the vise, and then I could have measured from side to side end to end and you know and done it exactly and find you know and find that center exactly but like I said th this is not critical as far as measurements go as long as they're relatively close. So what I'm gonna do here is just use a fine point punch and just trying to make sure I'm not getting shut over here. I'll just do a tap just to make sure it's on. So now I've got that I didn't do a very hard uh, tap there, I can actually put that into the hole now. Right, and use the center punch. Alright, so next thing we've got to do is work out what size hole we've got to put through. Well, that's easy enough to do. You just measure across right, your bolt like such. And this one's reading 4.6. So what we'll do is put a 5mm hole in, just something just a little bit bigger than the shank of the screw. So what I've done is put some thin, par um, some thin parallels in, um, one each side, and now I've got that resting on top of the thin parallels. And what we need to do now is just change that over to a chuck, and then we can get a drill bit in, lined up with the hole. So I've just swapped over the hole to a chuck. Um, this is going to do a straight 5mm hole, I'm not going to do a three drill fairly small drill bit. Now, so when you're doing this, you've got to check it on both sides to see if there's deflection. And if that's sitting in the center. through so oh, um, what I've got done now is just got a, a larger drill bit this is 10 mil um, as opposed to the five we we're using before and I'm just going to lightly around right just to deburr and make sure there's no sharp edges on there. For reference to the hole that we put in measure down from the center of that to to where the gutter should sit and we put our marks in there you know for a five mil width cut and we've got to go down about three mil. And notice that we've got set up here. This area here is twenty-three mil. This is twenty-three mil. And you know if you've got small bits like that you need to you know secure to the back to back part of the vice or otherwise you, um, you don't get a proper clamping force. And what we need to do now is just line our cover up between those lines. It doesn't have to be super exact but close. And once we get that set up then we'll you know um, we'll lock lock the tables down and then we'll just be moving down until we get to about three mil. So if I take that down um, you can see here that it's 
pretty much it there I'd say. So what we can do now is just lock the table. I'm just going to bring the cutter down. Give me a touch. Just for another mill. So we just measured our depth then, we're down to 3 mil exactly, so I'm just going to go another half mil deeper, um, more for safety sake than anything else, so it sits inside that groove, so I'll just adjust that out, turn that down to half a mil, lock it, put some more hero on. got it all back into place and we're using the, the position that they put the original screw in and you can see here we made up our bracket and that locks into this right this channel here and that tightens up flush against the fascia and holds the gutter where it should be as we saw earlier there was a hole up here and another one just below it and that's about the area where that you know that breakout in the yeah, you know, and the metal here occurred. So, really got it just about right, and it's solid.